Bridle straps are something we need to replace in upright pianos every 20, 30 years on some. And what it does, the bridle strap has two functions. It's supposed to make the hammer quicker in repetition by giving it a little yank. But the most important thing is when you take out an upright action, this whipping will fall down. And then when you put the action back in, you can't get it in because the jack is jammed up against there. So it's quite an important thing. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about how to do it and how to make a tool to do it easier. In the piano is going to be a little bit different than here, but I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to twist out this factory bridle tape. Now notice that it's folded over a little bit. That's because it's exactly the same way that we're going to do it the way I show you. And so I'm going to pull this one out. Now this is an original bridle strap or bridle tape. It's a longer one and they put it in with the tool that I'm going to show you later. That's the kind I like to use and it's very easy to do. All you do is drill one eighth of an inch hole through there and you can do it in the piano with all the hammers in place. You drill through there and the tool will help you insert that into the hole. So the original tape, now what most people replace them with are these cork bridle straps and there's three different sizes, large, medium, and small. Um, I've used these and I still use them occasionally for one or two, but if I'm doing a whole set, I will not use these and I'll show you why later. You also have this type, which is a clip-on bridle strap with a little metal clip that fits on. Sometimes they fall off. Some people put a, a drop of glue so they don't fall off. Well, please don't even use these. Just throw them away because there's a better way. Notice in these holes, it's really cluttered with glue and debris from old bridle straps, uh, corks that were glued in. And I really don't like that. That's stuff that's really hard to get out. And you'll notice that sometimes when you try to drill that out so you can put cork back in, that you'll break the catcher. Installing new bridle tapes are pretty easy. And here you see my wife installing some new bridle straps. First, you put the thing on the tool and then you dip it in some glue, then put it up through the hole and into the hole you drilled in the hammer button. It's really simple to do and it looks factory when you're through. That's a good thing about it. And it takes so much uh, less time than other methods. And now it's just a simple matter of putting the tapes back onto the bridle wire. Very easy to do. Here's a close up of the tool that we're gonna make. It has a damper block on there from an upright damper as well as the bottom of that damper, but I replaced the metal rod with a sticker from an old spinet. The screw is what you use to adjust the length of the bridle strap, and the little nail sticking out there is what you put the hole on so you can adjust it back and forth. The tip of the wire is sharpened so that you can put the bridle tape on, push it on, and it kind of sticks. Here I'm sharpening the end of that wire on a number 220 grit sandpaper. The way I'm taking the old wire out of the damper block is to take a spade drill bit, stick the wire through there, put it in the vise, and then just tap it out with a hammer. The new wire we'll use is a wire from an old spinet. It's the sticker wire. I like to save a lot of the old parts because we could repurpose them for other things like these tools or other projects we're going to do. Now here's how you set up the tool. First you have to go to the piano and determine the length of the bridle tape that you need right where the hole should be. Then using the screw you'll adjust the tape up and down and make sure that you plant your finger firmly on the top so it sticks on the top of the wire. And now with your new tool you can install bridle straps that look factory perfect.